this might sound like a bold statement chat. I don't know if anybody will agree with me on this. I think paying to learn how to be an alpha male is entirely not worth your money. And I connect it slightly in my head. I know that'll be like you, that's obvious, Hennis. But I connect it even to like, people have asked me before, like, hey, would you ever be interested in starting up um, a course for how to be successful on YouTube and do like counseling? But the simple reason, and this is where some of you guys might disagree with me. Not only would I see it as exploitive, I would worry that there's no way I'm going to be able, like, I'd be able to, no doubt that I would be able to give people value, right? I'm sure I'd be able to give people, like, I've been doing this for eight years. I've done stuff that works. I've been around in the scene for a very long time. I'd be able to give people advice on, on what works and what doesn't work, right? But the reason it would feel exploitive to me is because I don't think that those courses are what makes or breaks a creator. If you're gonna be a successful creator, you're gonna be successful whether or not you take a course. And, I, and taking a course does not, in my opinion, increase your chances at all becoming a YouTuber. I just don't, I don't, I just don't believe that it does. I think if you're gonna be successful on YouTube, it's gonna come from a sheer grit and just grind and hard work. And you're gonna learn a lot from trial and error and from experimentation, I think that's what it's going to come down to. I don't think you're going to be successful because you take a course. I think you'll be successful because you learn and you look at what other people are doing. You try and you put in a lot of effort over the years. And that's what makes a true, genuine creator. You've got to be good at storytelling. You've got to have something interesting to say. And those qualities, I don't think, could be taught. And so as somebody selling that course, that would just purely feel exploited to me. I would, I would literally just be sitting there thinking, I'm taking your money and it's not going to it's not going to affect your life at all. I'll be able to teach you some things about YouTube and you'd be able to apply those things to your channel, maybe, right? Um, and there'd be, you know, some interesting tidbits you could learn. And I'd, I'd learn some stuff from you and, uh, and, and that's all great. But I, I just, I think selling an idea that you can do YouTube full time through a course is wrong. And so I just wouldn't be able to sleep at night knowing that I do something like that. And so that's why I don't do it. Um, I think if you're going to make it, then you're going to make it. And I, I partially feel that way about a lot of paid courses about how to be good at something. I think some stuff's different uh, because some industries have been around long enough that uh, it's worth it to get like, you know, professional expertise. YouTube is one of those industries, though. I just don't see it. I think it's too new. And I think the resources that are available to you for free are so vast. It it makes any paid service useless. When it comes to growing a channel on YouTube, the biggest ways you're going to learn and grow and get better at making content and get, you know, uh, and grow your channel is going to be from looking at what other people do and imitating it and copying it and, and looking at what strategies work. All that information is public. It's all right there. You wanna, you wanna know why Mr. Beast is so successful at, uh, at content creation? Go look at his videos and look at his storytelling. Look at how he structures them. Look at the different music he uses and how he uh, builds excitement, builds momentum, and then you know dials the tone back down and he's just keeping you on the edge of your toes for the entire video. It's, it's right there. It's up to you to like dissect it and figure out how to imitate it and, and, and figure out what parts work, but it, it's, it's all right there. It's all right there. And then YouTube will give you instant feedback too on what works well. Upload your video. And if it gets enough attention, um, you'll, you'll, you know, get graphs and data that will show you this is where your viewers watch the video the most. And then you use that information. I, I, I don't want to come off like being, uh, growing on YouTube is easy because it definitely takes a lot of work and you've got to be good at storytelling, but I think it's a learned skill. I think, I think it's an experiential learned skill that the more you spend time at it, the better you get. And I just don't think that it's something you can learn out of a book. I think that's, that's how I look at it. You can't learn how to be good at YouTube out of a book. So that's my opinion on all of that.